Which of these everyday things is also known as a pylon? Fire hydrant, manhole cover, traffic cone, speed bump. I do remember seeing a lot of these uh, growing up in California. Um, and I'm going to say C, traffic cone, final answer. Pylon, traffic cone, yes, they're the same, you got it. One ten thousand going for twenty thousand. Here it comes. The Google home page features a search option labeled I'm feeling what? Adventurous, hopeful, bored, lucky. D lucky final answer. Yes, lucky it is. <laughs> Take a look at the thirty thousand dollar question. Here it is. In the 2003 movie Lost in Translation, Bill Murray's character is in Tokyo to shoot an ad for what? Kenzo Aftershave, Yamaha Motorcycles, Kikoman Soy Sauce, Suntory Whiskey. Actually, we have no idea, uh, so I'm going to have to pull the audience. All right, why don't we do that? Audience, Stephen needs your help. If you're ready, audience, on your keypads, Vote now. Well, nearly 70%, 69% call it Suntory Whiskey. And uh, that's their choice. Well, as a statistician... Yes. <laughs> yes. I would have to say that those are uh, pretty good odds. A lot better than my guessing. <laughs> And so I'm going to say D, Suntory Whiskey. Final answer. And the statistic paid off. He's won $30,000, two questions away from the $100,000 and those two new lifelines. And we'll be right back. Getting up there now. The Marlington, Virginia, he's a statistician. So have you ever won anything before? Uh, well, at my wife's Christmas party, we did uh, get to go and won a, won a door prize. It just happened to be uh, a bottle of wine, actually several expensive bottles of wine. Mm -hmm. and, and it just so happens that neither of us drink, and so we just had to give it back. Yeah, well, you came close. <laughs> but. I'm not giving the check back. All right, all right, okay. <laughs> Don't have to do that. And I think you're in good shape. Want to continue? Oh. Let's play. <laughs> okay, he's won 30,000, going for 50. Very important, and here it is. Fidel Castro has been in power in Cuba during the terms of how many different U.S. presidents? Seven, eight, nine, ten. I've lived through four. You want to count them? Why don't you count them out loud? Maybe that'll help. Well, then I look bad for not remembering uh, the U.S. president. No, I mean, <laughs> you're right. You're at a disadvantage. You're 23 years old, and Castro came into power a few years before that. Well, I remember back to Reagan. I better not do this out loud. All People right, okay. are gonna be laughing. <laughs> um, instead of uh, trying to fish this out, I'm going to have to uh, phone a friend. Okay. And I'm going to uh, phone Scott. And Scott is? Uh, my brother-in-law. Is he an older friend? He's older than me, so that's older good. Older than you, all right, good. So let's get Scott on the line. Hello? Hello, Scott. Yes. Regis Philbin calling from New York and Super Millionaire. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And so is uh, your brother-in-law, Stephen. Good. But right now, uh, he needs your help. Okay. He's won $30,000. He's going for 50 and relying on you now. And you've got 30 seconds, Scott, and your time starts now. Okay. 
Fidel Castro has been in power in Cuba during the terms of how many U.S. presidents? Seven, eight, nine, or ten? Okay, you have Eisenhower, Johnson, uh, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, and Bush. How many is that? That's nine. There you go. All right, thanks, Scott. Sure. Scott's pretty casual, sure. <laughs> well, he counted it up, and it sounded like he was pretty sure it started with Eisenhower. He's a really smart guy. He started with Eisenhower, didn't he? He did, and uh, I don't know if that's when he came to power or not. And I notice now that it says different U.S. presidents. Yeah. Although none of them have been in two terms, so don't have to worry about that. Still have another lifeline if you want it. I do, but uh, I am going to trust God and go with C9. Final answer? Final answer. You know what? I think Scott forgot to say Kennedy, so that would have made it 10. Oh, what a shame. You lose 25, you go home with 5,000, though. Stephen, right. I'm sorry, buddy. Good luck to you. Well, of all the presidents to forget, Stephen's brother-in-law neglected to mention Kennedy, the man whose presidency Castro so helped to define.